Hi guys, Dr. Tom here. Hey, and I just want to highlight a few things that I think will be helpful for the homemade projector STEM challenge. And so first of all, the main uh, purpose of the STEM challenge is we want our students to create a functional projector using a magnifying glass, a smartphone, and their knowledge of lenses and the refraction of light. And so before you can really do this STEM challenge, you really have to take some time to talk about light and the characteristics of light and lenses in particular. We also know that there's two main types of lenses. Convex lenses make light rays converge or come together at a focus point. And convex lenses are thicker in the center than they are at the edges, as you can see. Concave lenses make light rays spread out and they're thicker at the edges and thinner in the middle. Single lenses are used in eyeglasses, contact lenses, and magnifying glasses. Lenses are often combined together to make a compound lens. Compound lenses are used in instruments like microscopes where they magnify small objects like these red blood cells. They're also used in telescopes where they combine with mirrors to produce clear images of large objects like the stars that are very far away. While there are lots of cool man-made lenses, our eyes contain what most of us think are the most amazing lenses of all. Unlike most lenses, our lenses are flexible and they can change shape instantly thanks to tiny but powerful muscles that can contract and relax in a moment. This means you can go from focusing on the book that you're reading to searching for shooting stars in the sky in just a flash. So in the STEM challenge, each group of students has to create a functional projector using a shoebox, a magnifying glass, a smartphone, and a few other kind of various items. All right, and they have to really follow the directions for constructing their box that's provided. And they have to basically move the phone within the box and position the projector in relation to the wall until the image comes into the clearest possible focus that they can get. And some of the light from the screen of the phone actually travels through the lens and then it gets refracted and bent inward so that the projected image actually winds up being upside down. And you can kind of see that with the diagrams and you can kind of show that to your kids to help them to understand that. And we always make sure that kids evaluate the effectiveness of their design and, and think about how they change their design moving forward and what could they do to actually improve the performance of the projector. And if time allows, it's great if they can actually make those improvements and then retest their projector and see how much better it works. And so that's kind of it for this STEM challenge. Hey, we hope you like it and good luck with it.